Welcome back. We're going to continue the competition today. We're going to try to find the best products where we help you guys stay away from the worst. And today we're going to continue on with the Chemical Guys Inner Clean because it did such a great job last time, eliminated the other product. And then this week we're going to put it up against the Jay Leno's Garage Interior Detailer. So this is the side, the dirtiest side. We're going to put the Chemical Guys on and then we're going to put Jay Leno's Garage product over on this side. Both these products do the exact same thing. They're delicate. You can use them on pretty much any interior surface, including LCD screens. So we're going to show a little bit of that as well, how well the product performs. But let's get a close up. This is where my daughter, one of my daughters sits. So it's kind of dirty. I mean, it depends on what you think is dirty, but to me, this is pretty dirty. So let's see what it looks like. All right, so here's the up close of the before, so that way you guys know that we actually started with something that's kind of dirty. All right, it's not super dirty, but look at it. There's a little bit here and there, you know, just some normal dirtiness, but that's a before. So we're gonna start with the Jay Leno's garage first on this side. You just spray the rag, and then let me get it on this side and you wipe your surface. Now for the chemical guys over on this side. Same thing, you spray the rag. All right, now let's give it a chance to dry. All right, we're gonna test this spot. All right, what are those? Now, this is a brand new rag. All right, it's a little cold in here, but it looks like it worked pretty good. It kind of looks a little bit hazy, but it might be because of the temperature. But I would say that on this LCDs and stuff like that, Jay Leno's Garage performed pretty good, but I'm not sure. It's taking a little bit. To dry again that might be because of the temperature but it looks like it works so that's a plus all right so let's go check out the other side see how it compares all right so that's the jay leno's garage that was with a brand new rag and it still looks kind of streaky up here i just i brought out the chemical guys again because i just want to know if it was the temperature or not so spray some on the rag and then we'll try it. There's like no residue. And the, you know, the temperature is not really doing anything. Find the nice dry part of the rag. All right. So right after I use the chemical guys on this and it performed way better. Just to be honest, 100%. So, yeah, you guys seen the way it looked after. It was just smeary, streaky. All right, now it's for the reveal. I did move this over to kind of get a clean line. And this side is the Chemical Guys. Oh, can you see? This side is Jay Leno's. It's definitely a line. So it's got some kind of protectant that's pretty nice in it. I'm not sure how long it'll last, you know? And so that's kind of right in the middle of where I probably pushed right about to that spot on each side and then this spot barely got cleaned. So that's probably why that looks like that. Chemical Guys was down here. Jay Leno's Garage was right here. Did pretty good. Jay Leno's Garage did good on all this. The rag that I had, even though it was a new Chemical Guys, it was too big to get in like in the fine crevices. So didn't worry about that too much. And took care of that. So I think the Chemical Guys still is the winner. It said it was for all surfaces in the car, including the LCD. And this product right here, I'm really sorry. Jay Leno got burned lately, but feel like he's burning us with this product right here. Putting his name on there and saying that it can clean LCD screens because you guys seen it yourselves. I mean, I, I used the other product 
it, the, you know, right after. And this product was pretty bad for LCDs. But it, it worked for this part and it left a little coating of something on there. So I will give him that, you know. And we're out in the cold right here. So I don't know if he's like just testing this out in Burbank, California where it's nice weather. But 32 degrees actually out here right now. So, you know what, they perform pretty good for the temperature. So I, you know, this is an okay product. If you don't have to clean any screens, it says buff out everything, but so that's part of, you know, the, the other step. So maybe if I just went in after it with a totally dry rag, that whole other step of buffing it out after it does say that in the direction. So, you know, I'll give that to them, but I still think chemical guys, they won because it was, you know, you don't have to do that extra step. It performs and it performs on everything. It's kind of like cleaning the product off if you're gonna have to buff it off. I don't know, but appreciate you guys for watching. See you guys next video. Thank you.